Hi everybody, I'm Brian Gamp and with me is Jose Kane. We're with the Santa Clara University Robotic Systems Lab. And we have a ball and a beam controller. Say hi Jose. Hello. All right, so here's the beam, here's the ball. Uh, we've got an IR sensor sensing position of the ball on the beam and we have an IR sensor that position that measures height of the edge of the beam which we calculate as the angle of the beam. We have a user interface that the red button is reset the program and the left gr left black button is go to position number one uh, and the middle and the right go to position two and three. So we're ready to go and here we go. We will press reset to get the program ready and we'll go to position two. So you can see the overshoot and compensation. The PD system is working great. We've got a little bit of steady state error because uh, there's slack in the motor uh, in the motor shaft and the coupling between the motor shaft and the beam. So it will never quite stop, but it goes to and stays in its position pretty well. All right, so let's try a little disturbance rejection. Whoop. Push the ball out of the way, and it overshoots and comes back to its position. All right, now that we've got that handled, let's go to position three, reset position three. We go to position three. We'll overshoot. Settling time's not too slow, but it looks pretty good. Let's try a little disturbance rejection. Cool. cool. All right, now, Jose, please. <laughs> Reset and go to position one. All right. There, there we go. go. And then boom, quickly to position one. That's nice. All right. So now that it's settled at position one, why don't you uh, give it a little disturbance? Oh, hey, hey. All right. Pretty cool. So that is our ball and a beam proportional derivative of inner loop motor proportional control system. Say goodbye, Jose. Adios. See you guys later.